Hey, it's Dan Harlan. I am here with Roberto Giobi. How are you? How are you? Fine. Good, good. And uh, we're talking about the second volume in the uh, Professional Card Magic Without Sleight of Hand series. This is Card College Lighter. It's volume number two. That's right. And uh, this, this one builds uh, upon volume one. This one has um, routines that can be used as openers. But it's also independent. It's also I independent. Say, you, yeah. could, you could yeah. just you have this as well. You could start with yep. anyone. Yep. You could start uh, yeah. any place. But um, the, the thing that sets it apart is that you have divided it into routines that are openers, routines that are good, good in the middle, and routines that are closers. So you can kind of pick and choose That's right. uh, which ones you want. Four big chapters, and then the, seven and then the opening one. routines, mm -hmm. several middle routines, several finale routines, and the last chapter talks about how to repeat them. Right. It also gives uh, um, ideas, theories, concepts on how And those, to those ideas, together. theories, and concepts can also be applied to other magic outside of, course, of this that's book. That's polyvalent, that's, yep. that's knowledge, yep. that's strategies that can be used uh, with one's own magic at any time, of right. course. And that's, I think, the difference between uh, a, a good book and a very good book is, I, I long wondered what, what it is, and a, the very good book teaches you beyond just the mechanical thing, especially sure. certain magic, but also outside of magic, and gives you ideas and concepts which can be applied to life and to the other to other disciplines. Yeah. That's what makes a really good book, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the day I've become conscious of that, you know, I, uh, I've heard that somewhere, it opened a big door for me, and I said, I want my books to, to be like that. And they are, they, 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 they delve into the subjects very deeply, but then they inspire, you know, beyond uh, the covers of the book. And, and, and you know, the, that chapter on routining, like I said, can apply to absolutely everything that you do. And it's, right. it's great. And the books themselves are beautiful, of course. Uh, anybody that uh, already has the first one will come to recognize the style. Very clean, very, very direct beautifully illustrated, um, and uh, as usual, great material in here. Now, now I know uh, that uh, you were originally from Italy, from uh, Piedmont. Right. Yeah, but both my parents came from Piedmont to Switzerland. Right, that's right. right. And, uh, and uh, that's also, that uh, city is also famous for uh, white truffles. Well, world famous white truffles in season. <laughs> yeah. now, if they, yeah. they don't, if the they white don't gold, know, they that's call what they the call it. Gold. If they don't know about the white truffles at all, they are called the white gold. It's one of the, one of, you know, a very rare, very sought after, a delicacy um, right. used by master chefs all around the world. Okay. Uh, what there are truffles, you? and there, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> the they, dogs normally I need <laughs> dogs or porks to, you know, they train to, to dogs find to yeah, find them, yeah, find that. Yeah. Yeah. And then those uh, the sad the sad dogs and the and the sad pigs uh, don't get to eat the truffles, you no. know. But they but they're working else. hard for us, you know. Uh, they get something else. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but what we're uh, what I'd like you to do is just pick out one of them. I actually ask you specifically. I don't know whether you think of this one as particularly white gold from here or not. I do. I, I absolutely love uh, okay. this particular routine. It's uh, Voila Aces. Is, uh, the yeah, Voila Four Aces. They're yeah. all my yeah. children, of course, I must say. Yeah. They're all my children, so I love them equally well. But maybe that's a good piece to demonstrate, Let's to see. give, yeah. a, give sure. a taste. So here we have a deck with 52 cards, of course, very important. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to select a card for uh, everybody who's watching us, so okay. please you can stop them whenever uh, yeah, it pleases stop. you. Mm -hmm. Do you like this one or that one or anyone else? Uh, you know, I will take the one that yeah, I stopped please. at. Is that all right? Go, so. yep. sure. Go to the camera okay. to everybody. Yes, that's what I got. There you are, yep. Yep. and you can replace it anytime you okay. like. There you yep. are. Right there. And we sure. are going to bury it and make sure that nothing and nobody can get near it. I'm okay. going to draw a magic circle here. And it is within the magic circle that I'm placing the deck of cards. Mm -hmm. No human being is allowed to penetrate the magic circle except... Uh, except you, the magician. Okay. Which I will do. With my right hand, I go inside, take an imaginary card out, turn it over, and put it back. One card, and one card only, has turned face up. Then mm -hmm. Look, I show you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's exactly the nine of diamonds. Is that right? It, it, well, it is the nine of diamonds, but it's, it's not my card. I didn't say I was going to turn your card. It's just oh. the nine of diamonds. Yeah, of course. Okay. It's, a, it's a magic card. It's a ma why it's a magic card because it was turned over in the magic circle, right. and of course the magic cards they have a language, you know, in a code codified language. They talk to you. Of course, you must understand what they say. And that normally the magician, but some people can't understand. I mean, nine, nine, nine. That's uh, German for no. <laughs> no <it's> ma, ma. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm the guy who speaks the language. The <laughs> <laughs> nine. I mean, the, the nine tells you tells you something. Uh, it tells you that nine number Counting. nine. Right, the number. Ah, nine. Sure. Nine. Sure. Yeah. 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 Maybe I don't know. Okay. I, I, that's why I think as well. Sure. You might need to count nine cards. All right. Let's well, do it. So let's do it. Yeah. I mean, I do this. I do, I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. In a loud voice, what was your card? Three of diamonds. Three of diamonds. Il tre di quadri in italiano. Sure. Yes. Ah, yes. And not only that. I mean, you could have chosen any other card, a heart, a diamond, a club. Look, if I go over this, and although the deck has been shuffled, all the cards turn into diamond. Ah. Okay, there is also a chapter, how to deal with uh, things that go wrong. Okay, okay I, 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 I have to re-practice that. Uh, okay, I, you know what, Dan? Uh, I practice that a little more, okay. and then I'll, I'll, I'll do a special show for you at your birthday. Okay? Yeah, all right, at sounds birthday, good to me. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can I put a day? <laughs> when is your birthday? Uh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> no, but the, the day and the month. Is, oh, my birthday? Uh, birthday, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's 10-14. Uh, it's I mean, it's the four, the, what's 10? 10, 10, 10 October? October, October. Oh, so yeah. it's the 14th of October? Of October. Oh, yeah. look at that. We have the 14th, one four. Okay. Then you have one and uh, zero is ten. Uh -huh. And then oh, oh no, 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 we don't, no we don't, I see it. We don't show oh. no, that. Who told you? Don't we show don't, them that. Show that was the year I was born. Yeah, yeah, For those yeah, of you that, that, that rewind this born. thing, they'll know how old I am. Nobody's no, nobody's allowed to know how old I am. He had my birthday out here. Did you see it? I thought I thought he messed up, but he had my birthday. So I'm going to show it to you as a birthday present. Okay, <laughs> that's great. What's that's great? Just to show. This was a little variation. A a great great variation. I surprised him. He didn't expect. He did, no, that. I didn't expect it because I've seen it otherwise. <laughs> yeah. There is another version. <laughs> that's great. That's what you call a real reaction. Yeah. You know. And that, that's that's what you're getting with the book. Really, you're not getting just tricks. You're getting situations like this. Yeah. You're getting reactions. You're getting a way, and it's just not to show how clever we are. It's just to create it's to get something this real. moment. Yeah, that's that, fun. Know, this it's very fun. Yeah. Through something which requires some talent. Yeah. You know, not just a cheap joke or something anybody sure. can tell. This is something only somebody can do who has practiced, taken the time, put some love, energy in it, and thought in it. Yeah. You know, this is. I mean, and really, I'm serious about that. Yeah. This is, a, and that's why magic can be an an art. You know, we are not all artists. It doesn't matter. Not everybody who paints is a, is a painter, you know, but still, uh, it, it is an art and we, we, can, we can do this. You yeah, know? we can do this. Yeah. Now, so, we did, uh, we did <laughs> promise them four aces. Can we give them the fourth one? Can, can yeah, well, actually, what, 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 happens, uh, what happens here in the, in the version I described here is that the, 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 instead of revealing, let's say, the telephone number or right. the birthday or the social security number, or the street number somebody lives. I mean, if you think about it, this is an open door now. Yeah. You just step into the room, you know, and you, you get it, of course, four aces, or a royal flush makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have the ace of spades, uh, yeah, the, the royal flush makes sense, uh, whatever, you know. That, that was, this one, this whatever. one I, went, I was talking yeah. about. You don't mind if I do it, there? Yeah. There, there we go, bing. <laughs> All four aces. Well, that, that's, in car, <laughs> that's in the card college series, you know. <laughs> yeah. And this is the estimation chapter. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's this kind of great magic, and and this that's the uh, brilliance that Roberto brings to uh, the card tricks that don't require sleight of hand. This kind of fun and inspired presentation, and he and he does uh, talk to you about uh, you know open doors and options and you know various ways that you might go about things. So if you're interested in doing really entertaining and engaging card magic without breaking a sweat, without having to work hard at all, you definitely want to get yourself Card College light, lighter, and then lightest. Uh, but this particular effect, this particular one is in here, but you'll have to remember this variation. It's a freebie uh, for those of you who watch this. So, Bonus. Thanks a very gift. much. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.